So now that we understand probability of independent events, let's talk about the probability of dependent events. Dependent is when an event is affected by another event. You want to look for phrases like not replaced, or you kept it in your pocket, or you gave it away. So an example would be if I take these Jolly Ranchers, and I'm going to make two selections. On my first pick, I would like to get a blue, and the second pick, I would like to get a green. So when I first pick, what are my chances of getting a blue? Well, I have one, two, three out of seven. So I pick one and I get the blue, but I eat it. I don't put it back in the pile. I don't replace it. What are my chances now for getting a green? Well, there's one green out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So that bottom number changed since I did not replace it. You would then multiply the events. I could multiply straight across and then reduce, or we can reduce first. Three goes into three once and a six twice. So my answer is one to 14. Meaning it would take me roughly 14 times of pulling to ever get a blue and a green. Let's try another one. So let's suppose I now use my little emojis that I got. And I would like to first pick see no evil and then a pick. So when I first pick, there's one see no evil out of four. But once I pick it, I gave it away. Now to get a pig, I only have one chance out of three. I would multiply those together and I would get one to 12. So notice in dependent events, this number is gonna change on your second event.